All the epoxy is dry on the nose cone and on the switch band here. Um, the next step in the instructions would be to start assembling the eBay, but I wanna paint the rocket before I put all the internal stuff in. We're pretty much done with uh, putting epoxy on the rocket. So at this point I could really start painting, but before I can do that, I wanna drill some holes into the tube for some plastic rivets. And these plastic rivets are so that the rocket stays together during flight at a point where we want it to stay together. Um, so we're gonna take the eBay and we're, well, actually we're going to uh, take the cutout and mine doesn't say level two on it. Mine says Katana because it's the same diameter, but yours will say level two on it. And it'll be in the instructions and you'll cut it out. You're gonna wrap it around the tube. I need to find the end of the tape here. There it is. Uh, before I do that, um, on here we have some um, holes that we want to drill. Now you can um, either uh, cut these holes out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and see where their crosshairs are. I'm just going to run my knife through those crosshairs. And you'll see why I do that in just a minute here. This is so I can mark my tube. And there's going to be three holes. So I'm just running it through both three crosshairs and we're wrap it around the tube. On one end, it'll say align with the edge of the tube. So that's the direction it's going to go. Wrap it around the tube. Line up these lines right here and pull it tight. and then tape it in place. Don't want to cover up that hole there. All right, so uh, I'm gonna also put a piece of tape right here so that it can't spin around the tube. Um, then I'm gonna take my marker and I'm just gonna run it across each of those cross lines. And the ink is gonna bleed through the little slits that I made and it should mark the tube. Now I'll pull this off. Yeah, I can see one, I can see two, I can see three. One of them's a little bit weak. This one right there. Oh boy, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> but I can just barely see it right there. Okay, so those are gonna be the centers of my holes. And now I want to drill a 532nd inch hole in each of these. Um, but I'm going to drill a pilot hole first. So I got a smaller drill bit just so that in case it starts walking around, it doesn't, doesn't wander too far. Change out the drill bit. Now I'll go with the 532nd inch. Um, there's a little bit of a burr on the inside, so I'm going to take some sandpaper and sand that off. So 
let me clean this up. I don't want to brush it aside because that's all fiberglass stuff. So I want to want to get it wet so it doesn't blow into the air and I don't want to breathe it in. Okay. All right, so now this, oops, not that one, this one. Um, I want to put these together like that. Um, and I want to make a mark along the tube. It ain't gonna matter because I'm gonna be painting over it. But normally I would put a witness mark on it so that if these holes aren't exactly 60 degrees apart, um, you'll see why. we are be able to line them up. Um, so now we're gonna drill a hole through the shoulder on the coupler, but I don't want the coupler to move. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape over the end like that. So that way it can't spin around. And I'm gonna re-drill those holes through the coupler tube. So these holes are for the plastic rivets. And here's one of the rivets right here. So it looks like this. Um, it's got two pieces to it. It's got a kind of a plunger. Come on, it's really tight. There we go. That's the plunger and this is the piece that's gonna go into the hole. And you push it in, and this is tight. Um, and then when you push the plunger in, what it's going to do is it's going to sp spread the little fingers on the inside and that's going to lock the tube in place so that it can't move. Like that. So now the tube, if I take the tape off, I can't move it. Um, and then these are reusable so you can just get underneath either with your fingernail or with a blade of a knife, and lift it up, pop it up, pull that out, and then you will again get under this part. And like I said, this one's tight, but it will come up. Like that. And then I can pull it out. But um, I want these, make sure that these holes line up. Um, usually, when you're drilling by hand, they're never perfect. So if I spun it around 60 degrees and line that hole up, this one might not line up or that one might not line up. Um, so you just, mine look pretty good. But eventually what you'll do is you'll just have to either rotate it this way or that way and eventually it will line up. Um, so at this point, um, it's just a matter of cleaning it up and painting the rocket. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So the next time you see this rocket, it's going to be painted and then we'll start assembling all the internal components like the eBay, basically the eBay and putting the parachutes in it. Um, and then finally installing the electronics onto the eBay uh, sled and then the rocket's going to be ready for flight. Um, so it goes together pretty quick. Um, so Again, what I'm going to do is put it all together, um, look for any flaws. Because it's fiberglass, there's no seams to fill. I'm going to work a little bit on the, uh, the fillets on the fins that, are, that you can see. And then here uh, where this tip was glued on, there's a little bit of a gap. Um, it, this one's pretty tight, but you might want to fill it or you might want to leave it so that you can paint it a different color. The color is up to you. Uh, we do have our paint scheme that you'll find on our website. You can choose what you want. This is your rocket. So um, until the next time, um, 
May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.